Alright, who's gonna get that whole shot? Look at this game! Oh, go, Anna, go! Oh my god! Looks like a number it's fast, 15. huh? Oh my god! Annabelle! Woo! Hey, Anna! Fast! Yeah, sure is. All right, let's make this quick. The stock OSAT 12.5R rear shock, it has no rebound adjustment, and I think it might be sprung a little too tight. So I'll roll a couple clips of what I saw when I was bouncing this. Uh, the reason I started investigating this is because my kid was doing fantastic on that KTM over there, and sure, it has more travel, but the uh, rebound was just where it needed to be. She was doing fantastic on the bumps on that bike and she was getting like booted off the back seat when she would go over jumps and stuff on that guy. So um, this is a 165 millimeter eye-to-eye uh, um, -eye travel and um, there's a ton of mountain bike shocks that use that. So I had this scrap bike laying in the pile so I stole the rear shock out of that. I had to uh, fab up a little bushing here and drill it out for the original hole size. And then this guy here, all I had to do was drill out and take a little piece of, I think it was like 20 gauge steel, but basically I made a tiny little spacer to space it out. So what you get now is you get an air shock so you can adjust the um, springiness of the thing with a, with a, a shock pump. You want one of the little itty bitty shock pumps. You can get by with a bicycle pump with a Schrader valve, uh, but you, you don't want to do that because the volume in here is so tiny, it's really easy to over, over uh, pressurize the thing with a bike pump. Um, and when you over pressurize, it just springs back super fast. So this is the rebound adjuster here, and you'll see in the video clip, I kind of fiddle with that up and down a little bit, and uh, I find a good spot, and that. Uh, Honestly, I think the best spot is high rebound. And we'll compare it to the video of that thing bouncing and uh, they look pretty darn similar. Um, I'm not positive, but this thing might give it just a tad bit more travel than that guy. It's really hard to say. So you might have more wheel travel on the rear as a result. Um, I don't know how it matches up to the front. To me, this, this seemed a lot better on the rebound a very similar to that guy so there we have it that's the oset 12 and a half hour shock upgrade find a rear shock that's 165 millimeter eye to eye be prepared to make a couple bushings i'll probably go and make a couple um spacers here so this thing can't like go side to side however this thing i'm squeezing as hard as i can i can't get it to move side to side so there you go pretty easy